Today we're going to take a look at the Sanrem U7099SUX. I bet you Sanrem U has no clue that they pretty much named this that 799 sucks. Well, before we get into this knife, I made a new intro. Take a look, let me know what you guys think. And we're back. All right, this Sanrem U 7099 is an interesting little knife. You know, it's somewhat flawed, but still also very pocketable and uh, just interesting for the money. This is like an $8 knife. I'll put a link down below, of course, to uh, where you can pick this bad boy up. So what is this thing? It's a little tiny, you know, sub three inch knife made of uh, 12C27 steel, which is pretty much the same steel you're going to see in uh, Victorian Xbox Army knives, um, some of the uh, Mora knives. It's a uh, fairly popular, inexpensive steel. It's uh, fine grain steel, so it takes a very, very nice fine edge. Just doesn't have the greatest edge retention on earth. And by not the greatest on earth, I mean, you know, not so good, period. All right. So we're going to close this guy up and show you the back here. That's where the most interesting stuff is. And what we do have is a... Uh, bust off a fingernail on this thing is a small screwdriver and can opener in the back which does add to the versatility of this because you do have just that little extra you know flathead screwdriver and and uh, bottle opener there to have on there always helpful and you also have this little tiny uh, glass breaker here as well not really the most important thing on earth but yeah so it's a pretty decent small pocket clip you can see you have full liners on this thing and a nice texture grip. It is a flipper opening, but this thing is very, very stiff. It's not going to be able to deploy like that. And uh, the interesting thing about this knife, and which one thing I can't really understand is why they did it, is there is no liner or frame lock to this thing. It's actually a double detent system. There is a... Uh, I can't show you without taking it apart, but you can hear that kind of click. There's a detent on two parts of this knife. There's a small ball that holds it in place closed and a small ball that holds it in place open. And you can see there we have some phosphor bronze uh, washer on one side. And it uh, looks like nylon on the other. So it has a very good snap. And it's actually a very strong... Um, retention because it is it's a, it's a very strong detent there so this knife is not something you're going to quick deploy it's not something you're going to uh you know close quickly either you know this is a two-handed operation but at the same time you know this does make a fairly good gentleman's folder it's small it's compact has a very good pocket feel very good hand feel it uh is a uh three finger knife but uh you do, you got some jimping on the back here. Gives you a nice little ramp to hold on to. I wouldn't want to go wood carving with this thing, but for your average everyday EDC chores, this thing is quite uh, manageable. And I do like that little pocket clip. I am a big fan of little pocket clips. I don't want to telegraph to the whole world what I got. You can see we do have a hollow grind there. Relatively thin blade stock with a nice tapered point to it. The thumb studs are up into the sharpened area of the knife so sharpening is going to be interesting um, and with this pocket clip as well it can be very interesting to sharpen this knife as you can see I'm resting it on the pocket clip and I cannot get you know the blade is nowhere near touching <laughs> so if you're going to sharpen this you actually have to take the uh, pocket clip off and even then because of the blade being so thin the studs do rub as well and you can probably see there where it's a little worn off on the edge from where I sharpened it. It kind of took the edge off a little bit because it was still touching. So a little bit of a flaw there, if you ask me. But overall, is this a nice little, you know, pocketable knife for eight bucks? Yes. Is it kind of cool because it is that 12C27N, you know, very nice fine grain steel? Yes. You know, is it wonky, weird, and just a bit of a mystery why they built this? Yes. Uh, I think this would have been much more successful of a knife if they just did a very simple liner lock. It would have much quicker uh, ability to deploy. It would have, you know, that little more uh, 
feeling of protection of having that liner lock over just a detent holding that blade in place and it's really you know just not necessary what they did being we do have you know two sets of liners in this slot in this knife so kind of goofy kind of weird you know but overall it looks nice it feels good in the hand it's nice grippy you know like i said it's not something i'm going to want to carve wood with i'm not going to want to take down a deer with this but as far as just cutting up boxes opening envelopes cutting some rope stuff like that normal edc stuff this is very very functional and not too bad of a knife for the eight dollars hope you guys enjoyed